Good morning. It's your favorite wet-haired YouTuber coming at you this morning. Um, I am so sorry I have not done a video in a week. I think it was a week ago today when I went to the dentist. Anyway, they said, when I went to the dentist last week, they said that my um, implants are healing excellently. They didn't say just, oh yeah, it's good. They said excellent. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, go back today. Today we start the finalization process. It's going to take probably another three months before I'm completely finished. And uh, so a couple little things I want to talk to you about. I thought I might as well be putting on a little bit of makeup while we talk. Uh, the hair after I get through, I'll get it dried. I'll blow dry it and probably have to use a curling iron. Until then, this is what you're stuck with. Look at this. Looks like a witch. <laughs> I look like an old witch. Or maybe a witch with a B. I don't know. Anyway, okay, let's get started. First things first. I've had a couple of um, subscribers ask me about the... Um, about the the moisturizer I'm using, and it's this collagen. Now I'm going to put a, a clip in here. Up close, so you could read it. But this is it. When I say it comes in a little tub, this is the kind of tub it comes in, and. Uh, doesn't really have much of a smell, very faint little smell, but literally, literally, I use a dab of about that much, and that does my face and my neck. I've already got some on, but I love it so much. I'll just go ahead and put a little more so you can see it. So you just uh, smear it all over your face, and it soaks in really good, really fast. We're going to put it on our neck rub our hands together and now just uh, do this number okay so one reason the biggest reason that I've not been on here in a week is because I've been so dadgum busy that little chest that um, y'all went shopping with me to find the knobs for a couple of weeks ago I decided to redo it it didn't turn out how I wanted to wanted it to so I redid that and I have a confession. I have always, always wanted to be an artist. I see people doing things that I know art is in the eye of the beholder. And I see people doing art that is so beautiful. So I always assumed, even though I wanted to do art, I always assumed that you had to be an artist to do art. And then I have come to realize if you do art, you're an artist. So if that makes any sense whatsoever, if it just sounds like a bunch of crazy babbling, but I'm real into um, decoupage and painting, not painting like uh, landscapes or anything like that, but I love, I'm loving mixed media that that is where my interest is mixed media doing a maybe a deck pause with painting on it and then maybe some ma uh, and jewels or adding different things texture i've been experimenting and i've been very busy doing that i think i have finally found my true love um i love fashion i love design i love being creative and now I love the art I'm pulling it all together and um, you know what I've heard the whole life and I know all of y'all have heard the exact same thing that if you can find a job where you are or start a company that is your passion Oh, sorry about the nose, but allergies have got me itching so bad. My eyes, my nose, everything is itching. If you can find a way to make money, 
you doing your passion, utilizing your passion, then you will never work a day in your life. What I have always wanted, and I've never been able to even pursue it at all, but what I've always wanted my whole life was to have a little shop and just do stuff, just piddle and do art, um, paint furniture, make things, make beautiful things or things that I think are beautiful. Maybe they're not to anyone else, but art is in the eye of the beholder. And that's that's what I my prayer is that that happens, that God will somehow bring this into my life. So um, that's what I'm hoping to do, but I've been very, very busy. Um, I'm realizing practice makes perfect. I'm not that good at a lot of it. I um, Just a little story. For instance, the other day when I was working on my, um, when I was working on the, the little chest that I'm redoing, I painted it black with a black chalk paint, and then I blended silver. I put silver, then I, I put a uh, black, Mm, not really, you can't call it black a white wash, a, a black wash. I put a black wash over the silver, blended everything in. It turned out exactly like I wanted it. I've since decided there's a few other little things I'm going to do to it before I bring it in here and use it for my bedside table. But um, anyway, I was so proud of myself, and the silver is a li literally a metallic paint. Went to pick it up. I hadn't tightened the lid. I dropped it. We now, long story short, have a silver garage floor and uh, some silver boxes and Maurice now has a silver toolbox. So <laughs> um, I'm Deborah. I'm going to be Deborah the rest of my life. When I do things, I'm still going to be a bull in China closet. I'm finding I'm having to learn how to use an easy hand on art. Um, so I'm doing a lot of practicing. But what I think I'm going to do, and I would like opinions, please, I'm going to, I'll keep this channel. Um, I don't do wigs that much anymore because I really don't wear them. Now that it's winter, I probably will be more. But um, what I would like to do is I'm going to start another YouTube channel. And what it is going to be is uh, DIY learn with me and I'm going to be trying all kinds of different um, mixed media art things and I would like to just have people go along with me and see most of the people you see that are doing the the art on YouTube they are very accomplished artists they do very beautiful beautiful work my guess now I may be way off but my guess is that the majority of people out there watching like me in my demographic maybe retired people maybe stay-at-home moms maybe who knows what you see that beautiful stuff and think oh gosh I wish I could do that well I want to start a channel on YouTube I haven't decided what the name's going to be I'm going to start filming um, uh, content now so when I get the site up and running then I can let everybody know where it is but what I would like to do is to get people to learn along with me. I'm not going to teach you how to do it. I will tell you the concept and I will try things. Some of them may work, some may not. Of course, it's going to be typical Deborah. I'm sure I'll be making messes. I'm sure I'll have paint up my butt. But <laughs> that's just that's just me. Um, so let me know. Let me know if any of you would watch it or, th or know of anybody that might be interested in something like that. Again, it's going to be on a budget. I'm retired. That's why I have to do everything. And um, I just want to learn, and maybe some of you might want to learn with me. So that's the big plan for Deborah's life. And also maybe uh, look, help me figure out a name for it, something unique that some... Um, you know, who knows? I'm not doing it to try to get a bunch of subscribers. I'm not doing it to try to make money. I am doing it because it's my passion. And I know 
if a person like me loves watching that and trying things, whether or not they turn out or not, there's other people out there that would like to see it done, see somebody that's not a professional, somebody that's not an artist, uh, but who would love to be. And I know that there's plenty of y'all out there, so just let me know if you think there might be any interest in this. Um, I'm going to be doing it anyway, but I just wanted to throw it out there for any of you that might think, hey, I'd like to try some of that stuff, so I'll, I'll watch this old hag and see if we can learn something together. So that's my plan. And like I said, I'll still be here. I'll still be doing things here. Um, I'm afraid I might enjoy um, this DIY stuff a lot, lot, lot. I cannot wait to do it. And uh, so, like I said, as soon as I get a name and as soon as I get some content built up, which would be different from this channel. This channel, I knew nothing about YouTube. I still don't know anything about it, but I just jumped right in and started filming from day one. I had no content, didn't have a clue what I was going to do. Uh, it's been fun. I'm enjoying it, but um, I think I, my channel might do better if I'm on a channel that um, is my passion. And that is going to be my passion, my newest passion. I've had lots of passions, but that's my newest. And, and I got me a monkey butt red cheek going there, Donna. Can you see that? That's all right. That's okay. We like monkey butt red. We don't care. So I am going to cut this short. I just wanted to jump on here, let y'all know I'm still alive, still around, and that I'm going to be starting a new channel be starting it from scratch with zero uh, subscribers. So we'll see what happens. I guess they let you be on here even if you don't have subscribers. But um, if anybody's interested in coming along for the ride and maybe learning how to do some artwork, hey, who knows? We might make the biggest gum and ass mess you've ever seen in your life, but we can have fun doing it. So I've got to finish getting ready to run to the dentist, um, and so I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye-bye.